Over the last six years, prescriptions for testosterone replacement therapy have doubled. You've probably seen the commercials telling men that it may be time to get checked. Lost your appetite for romance and your mood is on its way down. You might not just be getting older. You might have a treatable condition called low testosterone or low T. Now, in a new study, German researchers took a group of overweight men and restored their normal testosterone levels. The group lost weight, they lowered their blood pressure, and improved their cholesterol. All good things. Dr. Harry Fisher, urologist at New York's Weill Cornell Medical Center, is joining us now at the table. Hello, Dr. Hi, Gail. Fisher. How are you? I'm good, but I'm thinking men around the country are doing the hula based on what you have to say today. <laughs> yeah, this the, is good news. They should be doing the hula. It's a great thing. You know, we've not been aware that men have low testosterone. Could you imagine that? No. Nope. It's the only male hormone we have. It's the only one. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've ignored it for years. You know, some people have low thyroid hormones, right? So you know you treat that. But now we're realizing if you have a low testosterone level, you could treat it. But how does it even get low? I didn't even know well, that was possible. Yeah, well, you know, uh, a lot of people think that testosterone levels, as you get older, go below normal levels. That's not true. Mm -hmm. At all ages, testosterone levels should be normal. However, some men you know, have low testosterone. Who are they? Men who are overweight and particularly men who have a big belly. The mm -hmm. bigger the belly, the lower the testosterone levels. As a matter of fact, Gail, when I see somebody in my office, I could tell if they have low testosterone in a second. Basically. So what happens when you take replacement therapy? Well, it turns out in this study, it was quite amazing. It's the first time that they found that men actually lost weight. What happens is the men come in, you know, they're overweight, they're tired, they may have diabetes, they're exhausted, low sex drive. I mean, they can barely stay awake, much less have sex, let's mm -hmm. face it. So <laughs> it, it is good to be awake when you're having sex. <laughs> that is good. You want to remember. But some wonder, don't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. Certainly <laughs> if you're a man, for sure. But the, yes. but the, the truth yes, is when do. you increase the testosterone levels, <laughs> mm -hmm. they actually feel better, they feel stronger, they feel energetic, and then they can actually work out. They have a you know self-confidence. So it's about energy or sexual performance or both? It's about energy. It's about feeling. Sexual performance comes when you're energetic and when you're healthy. Mm -hmm. If you're not having sex and if your sex drive is low, that's an indication you have a problem. This is a German study. Any downside risk to taking uh, replacement therapy? Well, uh, th there is. We don't just, the bottom line is you only take testosterone replacement therapy if your testosterone level is below normal. And if it's not below normal? You don't take it. Mm -hmm. You absolutely don't take it. And then also you talk about the weight loss and how this is tied to weight. Mm -hmm. So do you start, especially in your practice, would you start the testosterone therapy first or do they first have to lose weight and then see if it goes back up naturally? I never tell people to lose weight in exercise because they don't. And it's not you fair. You don't tell them to lose no, weight? No, it's not fair because no. a lot of, well, I'll tell, listen, we always get them diets and we You're a different exercise. kind of doctor, right. Dr. Fish. <laughs> well, here's what I do first. Yeah. Here's what I do first. You know, I, I wrote a book called The Male Biological Clock. Do you uh, like that or not? Did, well, I've yeah. just never heard a doctor say that. Well, in my Go book, ahead. The Male Biological Clock, we have an example of a man who lost 100 pounds. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, people, can, it's so hard to lose weight. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. for men, the first thing you have to do, first thing is to check your testosterone level. Because if it's low and we replace it, that's when people feel energetic. Mm -hmm. They can go on a diet. The self-esteem mm -hmm. is boosted. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, that's when, it's the self-esteem that's really very important for a lot of so men. So it motivates yeah. you. Absolutely. So you start with the Got testosterone. It. You know, it, yeah. Is is it, there, well, I was say, is there a concern, though, that people could be looking at this for something else? Do you worry about men looking at this saying, hey, if it's going to boost this, it could also boost my sex drive? Abs well, uh, well, my concern is men who take it when they really shouldn't, when, they have, when the levels are normal. Right, I guess you know, that's they, more what I, what I meant. That men want, they want to go to the gym, they want to get a six-pack, you know, that sort of a thing, you know, which is ridiculous. The truth is men in the 50s aren't going to have six-packs. My 16-year-old son has an eight-pack, so I have a keg. You know, people <laughs> our age yes. don't have yeah. six-packs. And that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's really but, okay. But, but it's not inevitable. It's not easy. Uh, <laughs> but it's not inevitable. No, okay. it's not inevitable. So, is there a thing but, called male menopause? No. There's no such but thing that as... that word is out there. It's incorrect. It's absolutely incorrect. Why is that? When you talk about menopause for women, the estrogen levels are really non-existent. For men, as I said before, the testosterone level should never be below the normal range. Mm -hmm. So the but, therapy, is it a shot? Is it a pill? What is it exactly? There are many different therapies. The most common is a gel. Okay. The most common out there is by, uh, by a company called Abbott and Elxilla. That Auxilia. you just rub on? Correct. Correct. Okay, so, it's not, so it's painless. 
It, it's painless, but there are injections as well, and they're coming out in the future uh, some oral medications, some pills, which oh. will really boost the industry even more. So men with big tummies need to be on the lookout, you're saying? Absolutely. Okay. You, you know, men, you could Got tell, it. the bigger the belly, the lower the testosterone. And these are the people that have diabetes as well. Okay, I would just like to be on record. Let the record show Charlie Rose does not have a big belly. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Fish. Very good Thank to you. see you. Thank you very much. Very good to see you.